Presenting the Titanic Fanatics. What's up everyone, this is yours truly, Mr. Steven, aka The Legend, and my pronouns are he, him, and his, and welcome to The Steven Factor. Two nights ago, for the first time ever, I went to see um, the Titanic at the Paramount Plus movie night at Bryant Park. And this is a very first time I never went to Bryant Park before. I want to give you some good things about it, and some bad things about, about Bryant Park. But also, I will mind going to review Titanic um, somewhere in my future episodes. So um, keep your eyes peeled um, for that. Uh, let's start from the good. Now, um, Paramount is um, an outstanding company for over 100 years, but also is a parent company with all the cable networks such as Nickelodeon, MTV, uh, VH1, CBS, and so on and so forth. But as you may know, um, Paramount Movie Night is completely great and also um, very, very interesting and a wonderful event. So that's the most important thing. All right, um, let's do a little bit of story time. This is my a 32nd time of this story time. Um, and it's completely expected, but unexpected. It, it, and um, let me tell you how it goes. Thank goodness I left somewhere um, around like a week or so. Um, I just decided that I need to get myself out there, get out of this depression when I have. I I moving out of some of the old stuff for my my mom, my mother's room. Everything's cleared out, so it's um, completely a blessing. But very, but it was, it was very difficult and very um, distressed and devastated at the same time. Um, during the next day, I was trying to uh, do a little laundry. Um, I text my friend uh, Megan, and um, well, before that, I saw the social media on Instagram. It says NYC for free. Then I saw so many free events that it really um, interested me, and some of them are not very interesting. But one uh, very interesting that I really want to go to is a Paramount Plus movie night at Bryant Park. And I decided, let me go text Megan and see if she is interested. And for the first time ever, she read my mind. And this is a um, a once in a lifetime opportunity um, that I want to spend some time with my friend Megan more often. So um, everything's all set, and also everything was crowded. Very, very cry. I just came here somewhere between at four ish, and then um, I was trying to look to see where's Megan at. So I'm trying to text her. So she and I've been texting all the time, so it was great. Um, but not most of the time. Um, I text her, make a wave, and there she is. So this is a good part. 
the bad part is this girl have a little bad attitude and she said take off your shoes and I was like, she didn't even say please. And I say, excuse me, I'm sorry, blah, blah, blah. And then I still walking on it. And she says, seriously? I mean, like, girl, what's wrong with you? Do you have her problems or your car or, or your rug or something? That I peed on it? That I um, step it on it or something? Maybe, um... Maybe do you have an attitude problem? Just let me know. But 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 also, I didn't even know you. Okay, so if you have problems, you could step it outside and and and, and take a, a, a turn off your 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 temperature. Okay, because you definitely gonna get some steam. All right. So, anyways. Finally, I finally met, uh, finally to see Megan, and um, it is a once in a lifetime opportunity, and it was completely great. <clears throat> so, um, she finished her one full ice snack, then we playing some cards, but I decided trying to stick with Uno, and Uno was one of my childhood games, and I never been played with it since two decades. Um, uh, I love Uno. And Megan beat me almost like almost three times, but also I played twice. But it was great trying to get back on track, trying to get my mind off of things, and trying to bring back the summer um, that I have. Uh, so this is a a very good um, experience to spend some time, and we've been talking a lot as well too. But also um, I met a stranger as well. <gasps> But I don't want to um, introduce her name. But she also, I was trying to have a conversation with her brother and everything. And she wants to know where her brother is. So, um, since then, she loves her brother. She doesn't know where he is. But she also, she's trying to do me a favor. Um, trying to keep an eye on um, the, the, the belongings, the crew and the rug as well. So I need to protect it. And my friend Megan do the same thing as well too. So I'm trying to help these two belongings at the same time. Um, breaking um, two birds and one stone. So um, so I've been waiting at least like almost like 7.30 or so. The rain showers just trying to um, came down. But it's finally stopped. And Megan is back. And now um, a, a person, a stranger is back. And now her brother showed up, and we've been talking in a conversation. And also, she gave me this beautiful shirt for Paramount Plus. And it was a large shirt, so thank goodness it is a perfect size. And I just want to say thank you. And um, I'm definitely going to wear this forever. Maybe I could wear it outside, or I could wear this in the house. And um, this is the movie list so far for this year. Uh, we have Forrest Gump, uh, The Talented of Mr. Ripley, Boomerang, Gladiator, Old School, Funny Face, S Cinema Paradiso, How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days, Arrival, and Titanic. And this is Meg and I went to see Titanic on August 12th on this day. And we never forget that. First of all, all these movies were completely stink. Except for Scump and Boomerang. Uh, the Town Tale of Mr. Ripley, Old School, even Funny Face. I never seen that movie before. And How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days and... They need some uh, boost up some new movies of this because some movies were completely whack, but some movies were completely interesting. So, but Titanic is one of the best interestings as well. Now, speaking of Titanic, like I said, I will mind going to review, but I'll give you a little bit, a little quick review as well. 
Now, Titanic is spin production between Paramount Pictures and 20th Century Fox. But there's a problem. Titanic is the parent company of the Paramount. But 20th Century Fox is a parent company of Disney. So, there's a little possibility if 20th Century Fox will sell the rights to Titanic hopefully they will might sign a contract and air on Disney Plus that that would be exciting but since Titanic is belongs to the Paramount um, they will hold the rights to that movie as they can um, the, but they also um they have summer movies on Pluto TV as well, and it's for free. So you can watch Titanic right there on your tablet, your phone, or your TV. You can bring your friends as well, too, for free. Just like the old-fashioned way. Let me tell you something about Titanic. Titanic is a classic. Um, it was great, by the way. There's so many Easter eggs we never done, we never heard them before. Like Duncan, which is also known as Duck and Donuts, the fast food chain. Uh, we also we heard um, Snoop Dogg. He's the uh, Snoop Dogg is a rapper, and also Olaf is the character from Frozen, and that was and that was would be like it happened will be um, happened on two decades later. Right before the 20th Century Fox merged with Disney. But it was a wonderful, great film and wonderful experience of it. But just to let you know, Titanic is a true story, but also is fiction as well. Uh, with the fictional characters, Jack and Rose. And yes, it is fictional. So, you know how a movie is. It's wonderful fantasy and a beautiful pure imagination now for a bad first of all there is crowded of people crowded of people Megan told me that she raced down there and grabbed the spot and it feels like you're in Black Friday thank God I don't want to be a part of it because I'm a Brooklyn boy okay um yeah there's there's so many bad things I really want to say about in Bryant Park. Yeah, first of all, it was crowded of people. That's number one. Number two, there was no room. Okay, there was no f fucking room in, in Bryant Park. And, and I'm going to tell you something, man. I can't even stretch my legs. I, I can't. I, I'm trying to, trying to move my legs. I'm trying to move this position. And I'm trying to lay down this position. I can't even move. And my left glute, yo, that thing hurt my ass, all right? So, um, it is, that was terrible. The, the, the lawn of the grass is hard as a rock. I can't even move my ass, all right? So, um, it was terrible. And my friend Megan, she was trying to use her flexible moves. She can't even move either. So this has become one of the worst experiences in my life. So I'm trying to lay down a little bit. I'm trying to get rid of a little ease. And then i trying to get up again. But that that is horrible, man. There's so many crowded of people, man, with, with all the rugs. It was so wet because of the sun shower, and and, uh, and I hate trying to. I hate all these people trying to walk me past this and that. Say excuse me, I'm sorry, uh, Brian Park. If you've been watching this, you need to change it up a little bit. We need some freaking chairs. Look, 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 look. Hold on. I got a chair. I got a chair like this. And it's way much comfortable with my ass. Alright? 
So change the rules. Bring the damn chairs. Come on. Not sitting down on a blanket and all kinds of stuff. And it's way too crowded. People trying to crunch on it together. This and that. I was like, oh my God. I mean, this is horrible. And people trying to weigh in line. Trying to go in the bathroom. And this is the first time I had to say this. Let me tell you something. I didn't even go in the bathroom. All day. I just hold in my pee. Before I get home. That's how I always do. I don't want to wait in line. I, 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 I just sitting down. With no hesitation. I just wait until the movie's over. And when I get home. I could pee. That is it. <laughs> that was like the old Stevie Fasher way right there. Alright. And listen man. And even they, they have so many beverages. And, and, and popcorn. That's a waste of money too. And people bring some outside food like Whole Foods or you could create your own lunch and all kinds of stuff. That's it. But I believe that I think I think this Brian Park is a little medium sized to be honest. But um, it's not like bigger as Prospect Park or Central Park. But um, I suggest they need chairs. And that's the most important. Okay, sitting on the ground again, it hurts my ass. All right, it really, really hurts my ass. It was, it was a great experience, first timer, but in these chairs, I'm sorry, in these chairs, and that's the bottom line. Oh my god, you know what? It's even worse. Like, you have your friends and bring your your dog. And the owner said you're not supposed to bring dogs at the bar. So you want to hang out outside during this cold weather. And my booger is trying to came out on my nose and hawk and spit. And that is embarrassing to be honest with you. That, that, that was a total embarrassing. When you have friends with pets... That would be a total embarrassing. But also, you need to tell them as well, too. If you have pets, please. I don't want to hang out with, with friends with pets. Because it should be off limits. It should be off limits. And since I've been living in this private um, building, I don't have no freedom whatsoever. Because everything is changing. And I wish I had my own freedom. So I hate the rules. I, I hate changes a bit. But Brian Park. You need this. Bring the chairs. And if you do not. I'm not participating next year. If you learn more about this channel, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to see my latest videos. And also a like button as well. This is your stream, Mr. Steven, saying, Dolo by la familia, and thank you for watching The Steven Factor. One love. Peace. Thank you.